Hey everybody, the Katai here in Node here. In today's video I'm going to be showcasing all the brand new features in version 2. For people that have already set up the game, I'd recommend updating the files, as well as getting a new config for when the mod pools is ready. There's also been some changes to hyperspeed since version 1, as now you have to do it through the Discord bot. This is just to make things much easier for me to update content. So here's how you do it with the Discord bot, and later on it will be added in the mod tool so you should be able to do it in there as well. As for GH Live mode you still have to use the old method, which only works on the PS3 and PS3 emulator. Also if you previously used the hyperspeed patch I'd recommend deleting all the hyperspeed files as it will mess with version 2. Also V2 now supports real PS3 and iOS, though for PS3 you do have to make sure that you can connect to PlayStation Network. As for iOS you might have noticed that it's only the base DHTV songs, and also some of the features of version 2 does not work at the moment. So iOS is kind of in preserve mode as I ran into some bugs that I'm unable to test myself. So maybe it will get fixed eventually but we're not sure yet. There's also some game files that you can add to the game as well. Such as a hobo fix which makes it a little bit easy to see during hero power phrases. There's also some files that you can add that will remove the streak pop up. So if you use fast hyperspeed it does get in the way sometimes. So that's good if you have really fast hyperspeed. There's also some restart button files which will add a restart button on demand, though it is very buggy. Usually when the screen pops up you just press it, and then you keep pressing the pause button when the hero power screen shows up. Usually it takes two or three times and then the song will load, but do not spam the pause button. There's also a negative crowd reaction patch, which will make it so that it's always a negative crowd reaction, so they will boo at you no matter how good you play. There should be a readme on how to install these patches in the game. Now let's talk about some of the features of version 2 in GHTV. I feel like one of the flaws of version 1 if you didn't play on the expert was that all the expert only songs would still show up on the song list. Well in version 2 they will no longer show up on the song list unless you go onto expert difficulty, but it might take a little bit to load. Also one of the cool features in V2 is that we have new highways as well, thanks to GH Crypto. And I can't wait to see what other crazy highways we'll get soon. Now onto the Discord bot commands, which eventually a lot of this stuff will be in the mod tools. You can run the help command for the Discord bot, as well as user info to get a list of commands that you might want to run. For example, you can change from unlock 0 to 1 now, if you accidentally did 0. While we're here, let's talk about the schedules. So there's 8 schedules, 6, 7 and 8 are randomised show blocks, which is one of the brand new features in version 2. Where the show blocks are completely randomized and they will be different every single day. So there will be no more repeated show blocks unlike the previous schedules below. Also the new default is now 6, which contains customs and released GHTV songs with all difficulties. So when new difficulties do get added, they will be updated automatically. And that's one of the cool features of these randomized channels is that new songs will show up on the channels eventually. If you can play on Expert, I definitely recommend 7 and 8 as those are the most fun. 7 just feels like you're playing GHTV in a completely different universe with a different set of songs, while 8 has just the most songs in the game. You can also enable fake rivals if you want to rival the bots on the totem. I'd recommend checking the first overview video for more information on that. You can also enable or disable matchmaking if you like, so if you don't want to matchmake with any players you can disable it if you like. Also if you'd like to disable videos, you can also disable videos with this Discord bot command. There's also the new playlist feature if you want to filter on demand. So for example you can have it so that only the base GHTV songs are there. Or if you only want to see customs. There's also unranked songs which don't go towards stats. You can also remove a genre or remove easy songs if you like. Also here's one of the cool features where you're able to select which tracks that you want and play with friends. So first you're going to need a list of tracks which you can get from running this discord bot command. Select the tracks that you'd like to add to the session. This first one marks if it's public or private. So if it's private you would DM the bot and then you can send the session to your friends. Second one marks if the tracks are shuffled. So if you like the tracks in order, you can set it to false. But if you like the tracks to be randomized, set it to true. And then after you put all your tracks below, you should be able to post it and then create the session. Also with the custom multiplayer section, you can actually get it to have unplayed songs. Or if you want to work on your song goals that you haven't got, or songs that you haven't FC'd. There's also a custom track list info command which is able to let you check the session info and also the matchmaking session since sometimes the matchmaking is a little weird in this game so you should be able to check if the player count goes up to make sure that you've actually joined the session. Normally the best way for it to work is for one person to try host it and if that doesn't work then for that person to go to a different channel 
and let the other person try host the session. Yeah, the matchmaking in this game is a little bit weird, so sometimes it's a bit wonky. But the cool thing with this channel is you're able to select any tracks that you want. So if you want to go for double FCs or just play any song that you like with friends, you're able to play them now. You can also check a list of public sessions that's available to join. Also, one thing to note with the custom multiplayer sessions is that you will have to restart the game around this time. I'll put a timestamp on the screen as this is the GHTV reset time, so to get it to show up again you just have to restart the game and the track should show up again. There's also the goals as full combos, so if you want to be able to display your full combos in game you're now able to, which will replace the song goals with your FCs instead. While this feature was in version 1 I'd still like to just show them off here. So you're able to check your full combo list to see how many FCs that you've got in the game, as well as the songs that you haven't FC'd. It also includes your rank position as well. Also the stats command also shows your rank now where you are based on the stat. Also you can get the top 50 ranks by running the stat name with this command. Also all the schedules will now show up in the who's playing section as well. You can also check which songs are in the show block with this command as well. Now onto the leaderboard commands including the all and new advanced leaderboards. Which includes a bunch of extra stats that the in-game leaderboards doesn't. Also as a note these advanced leaderboards do have a higher chance of skipping than the in-game leaderboards. So some scores might not actually show up. And you can also check the vocal leaderboards, which you weren't able to do in the game at all. So you're able to check vocal scores as well, as well as touch scores, which you can run the submissions command to be able to grab a list of vocals and touch submissions if you want to look for submissions on those. Also, some of the leaderboard commands from V1 are also still here, but you can now also check the rival arena stats as well, including the lifetime stats or the stats for the month. Also, you're able to grab a list of premiums and also check the leaderboards for who has the highest score on the current premium or previous premiums as well. Also the live feed has changed a little bit so it actually shows the colour of which channel or game mode that they're in. And you can see the rival action as well. And that's all for the Discord bot commands. Eventually this stuff will be added to the mod tools so it will look much nicer and easier than doing it through Discord. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this little overview video of all the brand new features. Sorry it was a little bit long but there was just so many new features to show as well as some of the old features that people might have missed. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you all next time.